Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing um, another video for islands. And um, today we are going to be um, making it so whatever items are in your inventory will be here. And uh, I just need to open this real quick. Uh, we'll be here and here. So let's get right into this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set this to um, template because this is just a template template. And then I'm going to set it visible to, z to false. And now when I do this, it should be invisible. OK, now in here we can add a local script and we can say this function changed. For I V in pairs, ah oh crap, script dot, no, script dot parent dot holder, get children, do, okay. Now if V dot name, um does not equal, temple template, ah, blit. Okay, does not equal template, then. If um v dot v is a text button, then oh crap uh we need to set uh in here um we need to add text so I'm going to add a text label and I'm going to just set its position to zero zero okay and then I'm going to set its size to zero by fifty oops, zero by 50 by 0 by 50 okay and we can set the background background transparency to 1 and the background actually we don't need the background color okay and um yeah so let's make that text scaled and now if it was like wood or something wood would be up here there okay i'm gonna label this text because that just is better okay and um, to make this easier, I'm just going to get rid of the text. And now I'm just going to copy. I'm going to right click it and then click copy. And then I'm going to go into every single um, other slot except the one that I put that text into. I'm going to right click it and go up to paste it in, into selected. I You can't see it because um, I, that's just the setting that I have. Because you don't need to see all, all the other programs running because, you know privacy uh, so now that we have that we can continue eh, okay so um, if it is then we're going to destroy it and basically what this is doing is this is basically just making it so um, this is like refreshing it so um, if so at the beginning you want to get rid of everything because um, we don't want it to be like okay I'm just gonna add keep adding on every single adding on more when um i when it changes so we got to get rid of everything before we add it back okay okay so now we're going to say for iv in pairs um script dot parent dot bar get children and oh, oh my gosh okay um now we're going to say v dot text dot text is equal to that. That's just saying it's equal to nothing. Okay, now we're gonna say for I V in pairs game dot players dot um uh, local player dot backpack and make sure that this P is not capitalized because I've made that mistake a ton of times. And we're gonna say get children do and um now we're gonna say if v is a um tool because we need to make sure it's actually a tool and not like some random thing that you put in there i don't know why you would put some random thing other than a tool in there but you know you could <laughs> so um if i is less than or equal to nine so um if you because um there's only nine of these so if um, if it's greater than nine, then we're gonna start putting in our in big inventory. So if it's greater than nine, then script dot parent dot bar 
find first child sl oh, slot dot dot two string oh two string and we're going to say i now we're going to say um dot text dot text yeah also wait why did i say greater than i meant less than if it's less than or equal to nine so if it's not there then we're going to set it equal to v dot name okay so if um if it is um great if it's not greater than nine so if it's in if it should be in here then we're going to set that um we're going to set that value so if it's like if the i is three then it would set um three's text to um the name of the tool okay now we're going to say else oh, okay else temp, temp because it's temporary and we're going to set that equal to script.parent.holder.template clone we're going to say temp.parent is equal to script.parent.holder we're going to say temp dot um name is equal to v dot name oh, v dot name and we're going to say temp dot text is equal to v dot text wait why did i say text dot name and we're going to set uh temp dot visible equal to true now now we're done with that we can handle when it's actually called so we're going to just call a change at the beginning so that um, it automatically uh, sets everything. And then we're going to say added connect function, or not, not function, connect changed. OK. Now we can copy that, and instead of saying child added, we can say child removed. Nope, removed. Okay. Now, let's actually test that out, because I think that's it. This could be the quickest video that I've ever made. Oh, index no with text. Dot text, dot text. So, a slot... Oh wait, I forgot to name. Uh huh. Okay, we gotta name the slots. Um, with okay. So this one is slot two. So we're going to let's just go in here. Name is equal to slot two. This one's slot seven. So we're gonna name this slot seven. This one is slot six. This one is slot four. This one is slot eight. This one is slot nine. This one is slot three. This one is slot one. And this one is slot five. Oh. Okay, so now it should work. Okay. So it has build and pickaxe. Those are our two things. Oh, and yeah, that's a problem because, um, uh, well, it's kind of like a temporary problem because we're going to fix it next video, but like, um, it still is a problem when you get rid, when you, um, actually equip it, it gets, it gets rid of it from here. And we're just going to have to change that up a little bit. But, um, other than that, it seems like it works. And to make sure that it works if it's greater than nine, let's add some things into our starter pack. Let's just duplicate the pickaxe a ton. That's a good, that's a good amount. Okay. Okay. See in our inventory. Hmm. I feel like there's not exactly nine. Okay. Yeah. V dot name temp dot text. Huh? Text is not a valid number of image button. Oh wait. Okay. I forgot. We set temp to an image button, and um, we have to change that to a um, 
uh, a text button. It's going to be the same size and everything. It's just going to be um, a, te a text button because that is easier. And I want to make this a kind of short video because, you know, stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's see if it works. Index null is visible. Okay. Attempt to in index null is visible. Visible. Let's see. Template dot visible. Did I spell that wrong? Visible. Visible. I think that's right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Attempt to index nil with visible. What is wrong with indexing nil with visible? Huh. That is actually very confusing because like dot visible. What does it mean? Why isn't dot visible a thing? Wait, let's just go into our player, into our players GUIs, and then hop our um, holder, and then pickaxe. Wait, there's multiple. Oh, wait, there's actually something in my dot visible? Visible. Visible. Is it going to true? What? Oh, I said text, not temp. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a very stupid error. <laughs> now it should work. Yes, okay, wait, let's see if that's the correct number. Okay, actually, I want to get rid of some of these because I don't have to count all of those. That'll make the video way too long. Um, just get rid of a good number of these. There. Okay, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. There are 12. Now if we run it, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And it's all named correctly. And yeah, that's it. So that is going to be it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.